everyone. Welcome to Tech Tips. Today we'll learn how to access newspaperarchive.com from home with your library card. It's free to all library patrons. Let's get started. First, go to the library website, nwrls.com. Go to the Books and Research tab and left-click Databases. Enter your library card number in the box and click Submit. We are now on the Databases page. Scroll until you see Newspaper Archive. Click directly on the Newspaper Archive logo. The website should load pretty quickly. You have two choices. You can begin your search or you can create a free account. I would suggest creating an account if you plan on saving any clippings or searches. Since our library has remote access enabled, which means you can access this website from home with your library card, you'll be able to access the newspaper content you've saved from anywhere if you create an account. You need a valid email address to create a free account. Do so now. I'm currently logged in to my free account. There are many ways you can search on this site. I suggest using the advanced search option. Click on go to advanced search. You can search by name or by keyword. You can also narrow the location and date as well, along with the publication. First, let's do a keyword search. With all of the words means any words you list will result in newspaper articles with those words. For example, the words Bay County will return newspapers with the words Bay and County, but not necessarily those two words next to each other. With the exact phrase will return results of those exact words together. With at least one of these words, will return results of articles with at least one of the words listed, but not all of them. For example, if we search for Bay County in this box, it would return newspapers with the word Bay and newspapers with the word County. Without the words, will exclude any of the words you list in this box from your search. Let's do a keyword search. I'd like to look at newspapers related to the opening of the library in the 1960s. We can type Bay County Library in the exact phrase box. Don't forget to narrow the results by country, state, and city. With city, I'll choose Panama City since that's where the library was located at the time. Click search. This returns way too many results. We have almost 3,500 records. This would be difficult to browse. As you can see, our keywords are highlighted though within the results. Let's revise our search terms further by clicking revise. I remember the library at the Bay County Marina, so let's add Marina in the with all of the words box. I also know that the Marina Library opened in 1967, so let's narrow the date as well by setting a specific year. Let's click search again once we've set the date. You can see that the resulting list is much easier to browse. Click on a newspaper article to open it. The newspaper file will open in a new tab. You have several options on the toolbar. You can zoom in. You might need to click it several times to be able to read the text. And zoom out. You can print by clicking the print button. If you don't have a printer set up, you can save as a PDF to your computer. You can also crop the article you want from the page and only save that. To crop, click the scissors icon. Select the rectangular tool. 
click and drag the yellow boxes in the corners to outline the article or image you want. Tag the clip with the correct designation and clip to your folder. You might need to create a folder. Again, this is for when you have an account and can save clippings. It looks like you'll need to tag the article in both boxes and choose a folder before you can click clip. Once the article or image is clipped, a download button will appear. You can download and print the article you've chosen. You can choose to download it as a PDF file or a PNG file. In the Downloads folder, I can click Open File to either print or save to my computer. Let's close this tab and go back to the home page of Newspaper Archives. Let's practice searching by name. I'm still going to use the advanced search option. You can type the first and last name of interest. As an example today, I'll be using my grandfather's name, Cecil Woodham. Don't forget to narrow your search results by country, state, and city. Click search when done. There were 29 records returned for that name in Panama City Publications. That makes sense, as the number is lower, as my grandfather lived in Holmes County and not Bay. Let's review the results. The first result looks like a possible obituary, as my grandfather is listed as a pallbearer. In the second result, it looks like the caption to a picture. Let's look and see if it's actually my grandpa. I'm going to click on the article. There's the name and in, in the caption under the picture, and that is actually my grandfather on, on that roof. I'm going to clip the photo. Remember to click the scissors icon and then drag the yellow squares to outline whatever you're trying to clip. Remember to tag the clip with the appropriate label and to create a folder if needed. Because I don't have a grandpa folder, I need to create one. Once you clip, you can download the file as a PDF or PNG. I will download it as a PNG. We can open it from the downloads folder. And from here, you can print or save to your computer. Let's review some other articles. If you are logged into your account, you can save records for later by clicking the star icon next to favorite. You can also click don't show again if you want to block the record in future searches because it doesn't match what you're looking for. This record includes my grandfather's first and last name along with his middle initial and my Aunt Karen's name, so I'm going to go ahead and favorite this article to look at later. The next article, it looks like it's a bunch of names with numbers. This looks more like sports scores. I don't want to see this record again in future searches, so I'm going to click Don't Show Again. The next record includes my grandfather's first name, his middle initial, and his last name, so I'm going to take a closer look at it. Remember, you can take a closer look by clicking on the article. Let's zoom in a little bit. This definitely looks like something I may want to clip and save for later. 
Before we wrap up today's video, let's take a closer look at other tools. You can click the exit full screen button to zoom out to show the entire newspaper page. You can zoom back in by clicking the same button. You can save the page in several different file types. You can share this page either through social media or by creating a link. The rotating circle icon allows you to turn the page by degrees. You can change the brightness or contrast of the page if something is too light or too dark. And you can also look at other pages within this particular paper by clicking the arrows. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you learned the basic steps in navigating newspaper archives. Remember that access to this site from home is available with just your library card number. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact the local history or reference department at Bay County Public Library. Have a great day!